Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel and today I'm going to do all of you guys a solid or specifically all you PC noobs a solid and give to you guys what I feel are the most important aspects of what you should upgrade next on your gaming PC. And for you longtime PC gamers and longtime subscribers, due to the recent changes in the dynamics of PC gaming, some of these choices may surprise you guys. So I'm going to list out my top four things to upgrade for your gaming PC for you people who may be undecided on what to choose to upgrade on your gaming PC next. So let's get into the video. So beginning this list and what I feel like is the most important thing you should go ahead and consider upgrading on your gaming PC is surprise surprise, not the graphics card. In fact, I think the most important thing you should consider upgrading is your storage solution. So put away your GPU egos for a second and hear me out. So first of all, in the majority of my budget PC builds, I usually go with the Western Digital Blue hard drive because it's a very cost-effective option. It still has great performance for its price and tons of storage. But if you look at it, folks, it's 2016 going into 2017. And I think it's about time that all you guys who are still on that old hard drive, or maybe that old SSD, make the jump to a newer, much faster solid state option for storage. So if you look at it, the price of SSDs have been dropping dramatically. Back in 2012, when I first built my gaming PC, I purchased a 120 gigabyte Samsung 830 SSD. And at the time that costed $130, which seems pretty outrageous nowadays because for $130, you can get like a 480 gigabyte SSD off of Amazon for the same price. So if you look at it, an SSD option is going to cost you not a whole lot. And my second point for going with a SSD upgrade over like say a GPU upgrade is that if you look at it rationally, how much time on your gaming PC do you really spend gaming? If you think about it, the majority of you are maybe gonna say at most 50%. 50% of the time you're gonna be using your gaming PC for gaming. But for like us college students or us booked high school students, that may be about 10 to 20% of the total time we're using our gaming PC that's spent on actually gaming. Because the rest of it is probably gonna be on work or other things. So if you look at it rationally, you're gonna be getting more out of getting an SSD upgrade to your system rather than a GPU upgrade to your system because you're gonna be using the benefits of an SSD more over the benefits of a faster graphics card just due to what you decide to actually do with your gaming PC. And I mean, let's be real, your gaming PC isn't just a gaming PC. It's probably also your work PC or your home office PC. And finally, for you people who do know the greatness behind going from a really old like hard drive or old SSD to a brand spanking new one, the difference is insane. It's like you're giving birth to your PC again and it's like it's running like it's brand new like when you first got it. So getting a new SSD upgrade from like an old storage solution is going to definitely show and you're definitely gonna love the effects of that much faster solid state drive. Now in number two, we have upgrading the CPU cooler. Now, I know this is a fact, but there's still a large majority of you guys who probably are still using your same old Intel CPU cooler or your same old AMD cooler. And it's time for an upgrade, guys. Get off your couch, find a new CPU cooler because now is the time to upgrade your CPU cooler considering how cheap they're becoming nowadays. For $30, you can be set pretty well for like your next CPU cooler. And this could be like getting a $30 Cyroic H7 CPU cooler or like a $35 Cooler Master Hyper 212X CPU cooler. And then you can pretty much be set for forever. Also, another great thing is that a CPU cooler upgrade can fit in any price range. If you wanna spend $70 on it, $50 on it, $30 or even $120 on it, you can find almost anything to fit your next budget for your CPU cooler upgrade. And lastly, not to mention the difference between a stock cooler and an aftermarket cooler is insane. You're gonna be getting a much quieter, faster, and much cooler gaming PC by upgrading the CPU cooler. And that's only gonna cost you like, what, $30 or whatever at the very least. So a CPU cooler upgrade is something you should definitely consider doing if you haven't done it yet, because you're definitely gonna notice the difference and you're gonna especially love it where you're gonna be having those low cool temperatures, having a much quieter gaming PC at the same time. But real quick, before we get to number three, and I know the suspense is killing you guys, 
throughout this video, I've been pulling some images for my B-roll that which you can't exactly find on Google, and there's a reason for that. I've been pulling all these images you've seen throughout the video from a website called Graphic Stock. So for you guys who may be unfamiliar with Graphic Stock, it's an online royalty-free image browsing database that has tons of free images to use for your presentations, videos, websites, whatever, but best of all, all their images are copyright free, which I find to be very valuable in today's really anti-copyright internet climate. And finally, there is no limit to how many photos you can download, unlike some other websites that could charge you like $30 for a single image, which I find pretty ridiculous. And you can find almost anything on Graphic Stocks. So for you guys who want to go ahead and get started with Graphic Stocks, they're gonna be offering a limited time offer where you can get $50 off of your yearly annual subscription. And you can get that through the link that you see right here. And I'm also gonna have that link in the description down below for you mobile users who can click any of the annotations on the screen. But anyways, let's get back to the video, shall we? So here it is. And number three, I have the GPU upgrade. So there is still a lot of worth in upgrading your graphics card nowadays because if you guys haven't noticed a lot more games nowadays are taking advantage of the new technologies that are being offered by graphics cards and the newer ones more specifically that have been coming out so they're still worth because if you upgrade to a newer graphics card and you want to run like the hottest latest new title that latest title is going to be using a lot of the new technologies that that graphics card you got is offering so that game can run better smoother and look better whenever you actually play it. And that's all gonna be thanks to your new graphics card because it can support those technologies. Whereas an old one isn't going to have those and it may not run as well. So in this day and age, there's still a lot of worth in upgrading your graphics card. And also with all the advances and graphics card technology, like you can be set for 1080p gaming for good for like $130 with an RX 470. And that's if you're gonna be like a moderate PC gamer who may be running like Battlefield 1 or DayZ. If you just wanna run like League of Legends or CSGO, you can get a $100 GTX 1050 and you'll be set for life. And I mean, that's a $100 upgrade, which is definitely not that expensive. So there's still lots of worth in upgrading your GPU, especially nowadays, but I feel like there's better options to it. Now, the fourth and final option that you should definitely consider looking into for upgrading your gaming PC is definitely upgrading the CPU. Now, this is the most expensive option on this list to upgrade, but there's still a lot of worth when it comes to upgrading your CPU. So for the most part, whenever you upgrade your CPU, you're pretty much repaving the foundation foundations for your gaming PC. Because pretty much, if you think about it, the CPU is the central processor of your entire computer. So if you get a new one, you're gonna be kind of like repainting the foundation and you're gonna be allowing your system to be able to reach a new height and support more higher end hardware, like a much faster graphics card and even more higher clock speeds and better performance. So a CPU upgrade is still something that's definitely looking into because it's just gonna raise the overall level of your PC to a new height. Bro, there's probably a lot of you guys who are still on like an i3 or an FX6300 and it's about time you guys upgrade to that i5 or i7 and get that much higher end CPU that you guys have been waiting to get. So now's the time because prices are a bit lower due to the holidays. So if you guys have run out of all options possible, I would still highly look at upgrading the CPU. And if that means getting a new motherboard, then yes, that's included in the price, but it's definitely gonna show when you pretty much breathe life back into your gaming PC with that newer processor. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that. And this is the Skyward Channel signing out.